uh, system. Mm. But you see, that time nobody wanted to listen to those commissioners. The, the thinking was these commissioners have been uh, demonized and they must be pushed out. All right. uh, when you look at uh, the law strictly, uh, all those parties are violating the law because they are not using their registers. So it's very easy. If one goes to court, uh, you will overturn most of those uh, decisions. Challenge. Yeah, it will, right. it will challenge it. Alfayo, so do you agree with Martin and Dati that you know, there is lack of political will and that is really the bigger reason why we are having all these chaos? To that score, I would want to agree with Martin mm -hmm. that we lack actually political leadership. Uh, and especially when we look at it from a technical point of view of setting up what I can call, as I said earlier, the electoral system, yes. which are the regimes, the rules that define what system do we use to elect people, who votes, how do you vote, and so on and so forth. Now, another thing that we can talk about is that we, are, we can witness impunity from parliament, especially the JELAC, the Ju legal, Judicial and Legal uh, Affairs Committee, has failed to adhere to reason. Uh, the Krigler Commission had indicated that there, sh there should never be uh, legal and judicial, electoral ju legal judicial reforms two years to the election. Mm. So that one, when you have made any judicial reforms or legal reforms, there is sufficient time to test the law, to have people want to have to, to, to question it in court, uh, and uh, even for the political parties to internalize and learn and even, you know, voter education, political education, mm -hmm. for people to understand what are the rules that we are operating under.